Alright guys, it's Tormer the Grey. We'll be back to another exciting episode of Pokemon X Blind Run. Uh, today we're going to be kicking on the 7th gym. Uh, gym leader Olympia. Uh, don't know what type we're going at here yet, but we're going to find out here in a second. Uh, you guys can see over on the left, um, I ground Frosty up a little bit. Uh, and she is now evolved uh, from... I, she evolved from a Bergmite into an... Avalug, Avalug. So we'll uh, we'll see. You guys can see her once we get inside. I've got her leading right now just for uh, the fun of it. But we'll uh, we'll see if that's a bad idea or not. I'm not really sure what we're up against in here. All right, that wasn't informative. What do you know, Daddy O? Here you are, future champ. Aha, this place is a maze inside of a ball. Try getting your head around that one, right? Even if you find your way, you'll have to watch out for all those psychic types. Okay, so psychic gem. Got it. They've got some crazy powers, am I right? But don't give up and you'll find your way. Okay. Um. Oh, oh gosh. What's going on? Um. Curious. Okay, uh, so let's. Okay, <laughs> very interesting. So we're in like a galactic orb sort of deal, or we've got to find our way around. Oops. Can I not? No. Oh, okay. Uh, so I just gotta go back this way. That seems strange. Uh, okay. Uh, try not to step on that. Okay. Here we go. Here's our first trainer. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see what the levels are like in here. Don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. So the Bergmite I caught uh, ended up evolving the first level. I, and I looked it up. It's They actually evolve at level 37. So you catch them at a state before they... Or, you know, they, they pretty much should have evolved. Right? See, there's Frosty. It's like a big, giant, ice shelf tortoise sort of thing. I don't know. Um... Cool enough though, so let's, uh, we've actually got an advantage over this one. Um, let's use a Psy Shock. Okay, so that's good because I think Psy Shock attacks the defense. Um, and this thing has got defense for days, so we are good there. Must have gained a bunch of experience. And we beat the Psychic. Alright. Good start here. But yeah, so, uh, cool, a uh, cool Pokemon here, I, I don't know what I was expecting from it, but it was, uh, I don't know, awesome, was not disappointed by its evolution at all, let's, uh, before we do that, let's see what's, nope, I gotta teleport, alrighty, Okay, I gotta teleport again. This is very interesting. I feel like I'm a what's that? Super Mario Galaxy or something. Did you guys ever play that game? This uh, this is reminding me a lot of that. I never played it, but I watched my watch my brother play it, and it's that's what this is reminding me of. Uh, can I get? I know that's the gym guy, the guy at the front. Okay, so that's the entrance. Uh, let's see what's this way first. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Alright. There we are. So yeah, I I like that we're finding some new Pokemon and we get to play around with um play around with them. Um probably won't keep Frosty permanently on the team, but I figured, you know, brand new Pokemon at least uh, give her a chance, uh see what her evolution looks like, all that kind of stuff. Um let's see, this is gonna be faster than me, so I'm going to use Avalanche. Oh, never mind. Darn it. Um, Avalanche is a move that's base power 60, but if you get hit before you use it, uh, it doubles in power. So, if this thing... Uh, it's going to keep using Accuprator. Well, whatever. Um, it would be a one-hit KO, probably, if uh, Medicham had bothered attacking me. Maybe. Well, I guess not. Uh still to it. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more of those. Let's use a Bulldoze. Uh, so I threw the Bulldoze TM and um, ooh, down goes Frosty. 
Alrighty. Uh, so let's see. Will you smog? Um. Quick wing attack should get rid of. So what is acupressure? I should pay attention. It is raising speed. Okay, got it. Cham is dead. Perfect. Level 53. Your team gained experience. Beats like a carry. Alright, so these trainers all only seem to have one Pokemon. Let me do 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 do. Let me see if I've got a revive. I definitely don't want to have to run back and heal Frosty, but yeah, max revive. Perfect. The beauty of not doing a Nuzlocke. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Frosty learns Crunch at some point, but it, it's not until like level 65 or something, so it doesn't do us a lot of good here. Um, come on, there we go. Alright. Nope. Huh, okay. So, uh, this pad, I guess. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're on a different level now. That's good. I had a vision that the battle we were about to have will be different from all previous battles. Alright. Good to know. Return to Psychic Arthur. Reniculus. Ah, I think. Yes. Actually, I did train one of these Reniculus things my first my first run through black and white. Or white. I, th I think I had white. Um, half white. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I should know that, but I do not. Uh, oh wow, so we kind of, that failed miserably. Uh, let's try an Ice Fang, I guess. Ooh, Frozen Solid, nice, okay. Perfect. Um, can't poison it because it's frozen, so let's just go for the KO. Ah! Still frozen though, so we're not gonna get knocked out this time, hopefully. <clears throat> Perfect. There we go. See a little psychic blob thing? Ooh, and Frosty Brewer level. Awesome. Must learn Blizzard. Uh -huh. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Avalanche. It's probably dumb. Blizzard special attack, and this thing's special attack's pretty, pretty bad. Um, but why not? We've got the move relearner guy somewhere in this town, I think. So if we need to, we can always <laughs> fix that. Uh, here we go, another teleporting pad. Okay. All right, and let's. <laughs> Let's put Bigwig out for a minute. <clears throat> he hasn't gotten a lot of action lately. And I think, what is his item? Escape rope, okay. Yeah. Figured it was something he just picked up. All right, so we've got a Hex Lady. This gym, a gym exists only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. <laughs> All righty, there we are. Crazy Hex Lady Maniac. Hex Maniac, Gardevoir. I have a feeling that we can probably get her with one good strong return. Let's see. Oh darn. Figured that would have worked. Oh well. We will do it with two returns and Shopow! Down for the count. Right. 
So let's see here. We've been through... This is the seventh of eight gems facade. Ooh, uh... An attack move doubles its power if the user is poison burned or has paralysis. Yeah, let's give it a super fang. Um, Alright, there we go. Um, so, let's see, we, we had the bug gym first. Um, the rock gym second. Um... Well, let's let's look at this. Um, okay, so bug badge from Leader Boyola, Cliff badge from Leader Grant, Grumble badge from Krant. Krant was just the third gym leader. Wow. Uh, the plant badge from Leader Ramos, the Bolt badge from Leader Clement, and the Fairy badge. So, bug, rock, fighting, grass, electric, and fairy. And this one's psychic. This one looks like a bronzong. If I had to guess, I would say this thing was steel, but I don't know. Interesting gems in this region so far. Be curious to see what the eighth gem uh, is. But yeah, very cool. Actually, I'm more interested to see. More interested to see what the uh, elite four is going to be. Oh, this looks like the leader. Okay. Very good. Um. Oop. Nope, don't need to be back in my badge case. Um, doo -doo -doo. Save real quick, though. Not that I can start over if I lose here, but uh, let's see, what do I have? I've got Big Wig up front. Let's put Frosty back up front for now. Um, let's heal her real quick, though. Got a Hyper Potion. Perfect. Alrighty guys, here we go. So this will be badge number seven, if we make it. She's fun looking. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Here's to actually be an adult, which is new. Olympia. It's an interesting looking badge. So we are challenged by Lydia Olympia. Oh, she sends out Siglyph. Okay, well that works because we've got an ice Pokemon. Siglyph is part flying, so that's perfect. Let's, uh, let's try out the blizzard here, huh? See if we can hit that. Go cool, hit that! Okay, so that's good. It uses the reflect, which is raises the defense. Um, blizzard is special. There we go. And my special attack is terrible, so I don't expect a KO, yeah. Alright, so, let's, let's see if we can get an Ice Fang off. Should be able to live that. Nope, okay. Huh, the first one didn't do half. Alright, um, do do let's see, what do we have? Let's do Gladriel, she's got Thunderbolt. I'll make this quick and easy. We're gonna trace the magic guard. Perfect. Loop, loop, loop. Thunderbolt. So is this light screen now then? Yeah. Alright, well we should still be able to kill it with a thunderbolt, I would think. Yeah, there we are. Siglyph so is down. Used her lead to set up some screens, so that'll be useful. So send a Meow Stick. Yeah, we'll switch off of Meow Stick. Um Oh, so I found the name Raider, and I finally renamed Tyrantrum. Um, apparently the name Raider was hiding away in the Pokemon Center of Campfire Town. Um, so I renamed our Tyrantrum Sharptooth, um, after the uh, Land Before Time... Oop, fake out. Land Before Time T-Rex that was terrorizing everybody in that movie. So I feel like that's pretty appropriate. It was either that or I was going to name him Tyrant. Uh, but it was, I mean... The species name is so close to that, I figured I'd branch out a little bit. Um, since T-Rex means Tyrant Lizard. Um, <coughs> there we go, Meowstic is down. There's some team game experience. I'll be sending Slow King. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to put Bilbo out. He's fighting type, but he's also grass. Could end up being a bad idea, but... 
I guess we'll see what happens. The beauty of not running a Nuzlocke is um, you don't really have to worry about this kind of stuff too much. Just see what works. Ooh, and that worked beautifully. Slow King goes down. That's a cool Pokemon. You don't see Slow Kings very often. Alright, oh, and we defeated her. She only had three Pokemon. Create your own path. Let nothing get in your way. Your fate. Your future. Trump received 7600 for winning. Alright. Well, that was easy. I wonder... Oh, the Psychic Badge. Yeah, see, they don't get very creative with these badge names. A testament to your skill. Proof of your power. So, I wonder, I have, you know, I haven't beaten this game yet. I only have one copy of it, and I've been playing it with you guys. Uh, people up to 90 will obey me. Awesome. Um, I haven't been paying that close attention. I know, like, Gen 5 introduced, like, a challenge mode. Uh, yeah, warp to the entrance. Um, Gen 5 introduced a challenge mode. I wonder if Gen 6 has it, because, like, some of these gym leaders having three Pokemon, I mean, it's kind of like, oop. I'm sure getting the psychic bag wasn't too much trouble for you, right, Tortimer? No, sir, yeah. I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is all said and done. Ooh, nice. Seems like the neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger, after all. What could this be? Okay, Lissandre's calling us. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly and conflicts with rage, and conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry, those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is a do to you all. <laughs> wow, he's really not very intelligent. What? What was Lissandre saying? Why been this like clean? Eliminating everybody but Team Flare? Tortimer, let's look for Team Flare's headquarters. Where could Lissandre be? Perhaps he's where we first met him in Lumoy City. It doesn't seem very wise to tell like the entire region that you're gonna kill them all. Team Flare forever, because this output adds extra pizzazz to drinking espresso at Lissandre Cafe. A little plug there. Do you know where Magenta Plaza is? It's next to the Pokemon Center by Prison Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the cafe is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to go back to the cafe. Um. Okay. Let me. Let's check our map quickly. Okay. So that path leads to Corway Town, but clearly we've got to go back to Luminous nice City. Um. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. We're at 19 minutes. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let me quickly. Yeah, we'll heal. Um, and then we need to grab Inara, and we are going to fly off to Lumiwe City. See you again. You too. Alright. Uh, yeah, Cassius is BC. Organize boxes. Alright, so we need Nara. Move. Smog, you sit this one out. And. Well, I guess we'll leave Frosty on the team for now. It's pretty much. She's pretty much the same level as Zoidberg was. Um, okay. That works. So let's see what's happening here. But yeah, I mean, he... I've got to imagine that, you know, you would want to leave some... Like, Giovanni never really came out to the world as the leader of Team Rocket. He had his gym, he wanted to, you know, Lissandra is the, the master, or the CEO of, like, some massive company or something. Like, you'd think you'd want to do your evil doings in the background and then... Um... Okay, yeah, we're right here. You'd think you'd want to do your evil doings in the background, and just in case, you know, something went wrong. Uh, so you hadn't announced to the entire region that... Huh. Today our special is, get out of here or else. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's awesome. Today our special is, get out of here or else. Alright, great. 
Uh, so we've got Frosty up against Scraggy. That's probably not going to be the greatest matchup ever. Uh, and I probably should have... That was weak. I probably should have grabbed Smog instead of an Ooh, that was terrible too. Okay, uh, well... Uh, do, do, do. What level is Inara? Is she bad already? Uh, she's just level 40, but that's not too low. Let's get her out here. Um, see if her... See if her flying type moves can do something against Scraggy here. We've got a scary face, which does what? Speed? Yeah, speed. Okay, uh, so we have, let's see, fly. Still faster than Scraggy. I'll use fly. Let's see. Ooh, good job, Nara. Okay, so he's gonna lower our speed one more time. Let's see, we've got a flame charge. That should be enough to finish Scraggy off. Not quite, huh? Oof. Okay, we've got a stab crunch. Not too bad. Alright. Do this. Knock Scraggy out. Down for the count. Alright. Glad you're good to level 53. Awesome. Future sight. No! No! Keep old moves. There we go. Sometimes you gotta wonder why they put some of these moves. I need my Stylus Red Team Flare suit to unleash my full power. That must be it. Oh no, he'll find out the password to the hidden door in this cafe is open sesame. <laughs> yeah. That was a challenge. Um... Okay. Let me take this girl out and then we will go... Uh, we'll actually go and get Smog. Then a waitress here, Team Flare Grunts, and a Leapard. But yeah, Nora is just too low a level at the moment, so uh, we will we will have to take her out or off the team for a minute. Fell for the taunt. Go for the Ice Fang. Good job, Frosty. From what I've seen so far, I was talking on the Nuzlocke forums before this came out, that the one Pokemon I was really hoping for was a another turtle Pokemon. Um, I like turtles. I like turtles. Uh, but um, it seems like in every, pretty much every generation except for Gen 2, uh, we got a new turtle Pokemon. Gen 1 we had Squirtle. Um, Gen 3 we had Torkoal. Uh, Gen 4 we had Turtwig. Uh, Gen 5 we got Caracosta. Um, so I was kind of expecting... Okay, I'm gonna go quickly heal grab Smog. I didn't really even read, read what she said. Um, but so I was kind of expecting that we might get a new turtle uh, this gen. And, it, you know, I, I wouldn't say that this is definitively a turtle, but I would say that uh, Avalug and... Or, or Avalug is probably the closest uh, we're gonna get at this point. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got to organize boxes. We've got to grab smog. There we are. Good to go. Uh, if you guys have got, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying getting to try out different new Pokemon. Um, all right. So let's see what she has to say. At this rate, you'll figure out there's a hidden door at Lis to Lissandre's lab. Oh no, so... There's a hidden door in this cafe, and the, the password is Open Sesame. This piece of furniture is giving off a mysterious vibe. It is a hidden door. Former said the password in front of the hidden door. Open Sesame. Perfect. Here we go. Plot, plot, plot. Ooh, and we just start right off. Um, this world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket, or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. 
Okay, so we are gonna battle the big man himself. That was quick. I figured we have to get through a couple more grunts before that happened. He sends out mind food. Expected the big boss to have a little bit more than that. Alright, we'll go for the ice fan. Maiku's throwing up a swords dance. Yikes! That could be bad, should it look to... Oh, another freeze! Nice. Okay, swords dance could be bad if it gets a fighting move off in the direction of my ice Pokemon. That could be bad. Perfect. Very good, sir. You need experience. Send in Pyroar. Yeah, we'll switch out of Pyroar. Um, bring big. Well, no, actually, Frosty can take off Pyroar. Frosty has got. Ooh, he's got a male too. Uh, I want to. I need to train out my male too at some point. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. Ooh, Frosty hung on. Uh, I was hoping that bulldozer would do more. Oh well. Let's just see if we can get another thing off. Maybe Fire Blast misses? No. Okay. Good job, Frosty. Uh, so let's see. We will bring out the big wig. Alright. So, big wig. Well, we'll just return. Um, yeah, there we go. Didn't want to waste two moves doing dig if it wasn't necessary. Alrighty, here we are. He's about to send Gyarados. Ooh, yeah. Yikes. Switch in. Oh, I need to. Well, I, I can't be quick enough on this. I. Gyarados. That goes Intimidate. Alright, so we will Intimidate his Gyarados. I mean, his Gyarados will intimidate me, but that's fine, because I don't have any attack moves. Uh, I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. Awesome. Boom! There we go. Does he have one more? Murkrow. Uh, we'll stay in on Murkrow, I guess. We'll just Thunderbolt Murkrow as well. Ugh, my hand is falling asleep. Um, Bilbo Girdle level 55. Let's learn Wood Hammer. Ooh. Um, 120, 100. Just learn this. This also damages the user quite a bit. Wood Hammer damages the user. Huh. Well, yeah, I can't think of any, I, I'm going to get rid of Spiky Shield. Again, we know the move we learner now, so we can, we can get it back if we decide to, but I think attacking is a little more useful. Excellent. I can feel the fire of your convictions burning deep within your heart. Received almost ten thousand dollars. Nice. I can go buy a pair of shoes. <laughs> Wahaha! Your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You are here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was just too vast and too full of fools that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world is to take it all for myself. I don't expect that you'll ever make. <laughs> I don't expect that I'll ever make you understand how I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so you'll have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Oh, and as for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists you've met on your journey has it. Hmm. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Okay, well, uh, we are about at the half hour mark, so I think I'm going to call it here for today. Um, trying to keep these a little bit shorter, and I've got a feeling this is going to take a while. So next episode, we will pick up, and we will take on 
Lissandre Labs and see if we can't get to the end and figure out what all is going on. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Tortimer the Grey, and you guys have been great. And I will see you guys next time on Pokemon X Blind Run. Have a good one. Bye-bye.